ChatGPT just got its biggest update yet. Custom GPTs and the GPT vision model is now available to everybody. But are anybody creating anything revolutionary yet? I found 10 of the coolest examples so far, and I'll save my favorite example I found to the end of this video. Example number one. Let me show you a demo which is gonna change the way you think about internet. So I'm here on the medical website and I have a picture of the joint. I'm just going to drag and select the part I'm interested in and the GPT-4 is going to answer me what is it? It's hip joint region. And what about this part? What is it? I'm not giving it even any context. It just knows. This is Schrodinger's equation. Let's try this part. What is it? Potential energy term. And let's say I'm really into the cars, but I, 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 don't, I just don't know what is this your orange stick. What is this orange stick? And an oil dipstick. And it's gonna help me out no matter where I am. And the cool thing is that it also has the context of the page. So it sees the text here and it uses this to answer the question even better. And the last question, is it gonna be able to interpret the table and answer me, am I doing any good in business? I have increasing net income. God. So take a screenshot. It explains exactly what it is or how to help you. I took a screenshot of my calendar and it immediately gave me stress relief tip. By the way, links to everything in the description below. Number two, this guy used GPT vision and text to speech to make an AI sports narrator. Oh, like a magician on the field, dodging one, two, three, unstoppable. Look at him go. The crowd is roaring. Can you believe this? He's taken on the whole defense. He's a one-man show, ladies and gentlemen. He shoots. Goal! Messy, messy, messy! Unbelievable. What a goal. What a goal. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. The stadium explodes in joy. This is football magic at its finest. Only messy. Only messy. Goal, goal, goal! So the video is about a thousand frames long, but he only passed every tenth frame of all of them together in a dictionary. Creating this video was not cheap at around 30 bucks. Now we just need to set the parameters to an over-enthusiastic Spanish commentator and we have got a winner. <laughs> Number three, talk to any YouTube video. This AI tool makes contracts easy. It's called Robin AI and I'm just going to start for free. Now that I'm on the inside, I'm going to create new draft contracts. We can select employment contract, NDA or supplier agreement. Let's do an NDA template. You can do mutual or one way. I'm going to name it AI secrets and just put it in a group, my contracts. Then we're just going to create it just like that. We got a full contract made with all the necessary information where you can also edit your contract easily. Effective date, recipient address, company registration. Robin AI's mission is to make contracts simple for everyone. So what's even better is that you can upload a contract. It's an agreement I had to sign and I can check on the right side. On the right side, you see suggested edits that they recommend you change in the contract. So they actually found four things I should change. And even better, they have an AI chatbot in the bottom right, and I can ask it anything about the contract. Like, does it have any exclusivity clauses? The contract does not. Is there any deadline? Yes, no later than October 16th. They've also added a word add-in so you can use it directly in Word. So click the link in the description to make contracts simple. Thank you so much to Robin AI for sponsoring this section of the video. Number three, talk to any YouTube video. As you can see, he used a custom GPT that has the instructions. This GPT serves as a YouTube transcriber. He doesn't have much of anything else except the fast API agent that is used for a transcription. And now that he saved this custom GPT, he can say WTF is he saying posting the link and it answers that it's discussing some type of hints and the Python library. In this case, better to ask ChatGPT. Number four, you can chat with a webcam. Look, this guy has his webcam open. He's typing the prompt, what do you see? And ChatGPT will take the vision and get the response. You've shared an image of a person sitting in front of an interior wall. The person appears to be a young adult male with short hair looking directly at the camera. Then what am I 
holding, gonna hold up an item, sunglasses. Can it do it? You're holding a pair of sunglasses. Number five, experimenting with OpenAI's new text-to-speech model. You can actually test it out for yourself by just using your Open API key. They have the model TTS1 and the HD version, so let's do just the TTS one first, use the voice option on it. Let's see what happens. So this is not the HD version. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. That's pretty good. Can we do the HD version? Let's try it. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. It's very good. Let's try the echo voice. Why don't scientists trust atoms? because they make up everything. Text-to-speech has come so far that it's kind of hard to tell. Number six, testing out GPT Turbo. Oh my, it's fast. As you can see, he's now in the playground and you can actually select this yourself, go and preview this new model. And the craziest part about it is that it has a 128,000 token limit. This is by far the biggest token limit that we've had in ChatGPT. And as you can see, it just keeps writing more and more. And also the best benefit is that it can memorize more of your previous chat. If you wanna test it out, just go to platform.openai.com slash playground. Number seven, making an AI assistant travel app. If I say, hey, let's go to Paris. That's it, with just a few lines of code, users can now have a very specialized assistant right inside the app. And I'd like to highlight okay. one of my favorite features here, function calling. If you have not used it yet, function calling is really powerful. And as Sam mentioned, we're taking it a step further today. It now guarantees the JSON output with no added latency, and you can invoke multiple functions at once for the first time. So here, if I carry on and say, hey, what are the top 10 things to do? We're gonna have the assistant respond to that again. And here, what's interesting is that the assistant knows about functions, including those to annotate the map that you see on the right. And so now all of these pins are dropping in real time here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. In fact, I got inspired and I already booked my tickets to, uh, to Paris. So I'm just gonna drag and drop here this PDF. What it's uploading, I can just sneak peek uh, at it. Very typical United flight ticket. And behind the scene here, what's happening is that Retrieval is reading these files and boom, the information about this PDF appeared on the screen. AI travel assistance, pretty cool. Until you realize that its top attractions is just the best Wi-Fi speed. Number eight, he created a custom GPT that optimizes his X posts. Look, he created an X optimizer GPT that fine tunes his X posts and pinpoints peak posting times for max engagement on X. The result? mind-blowing. Here you can see the bot that he created, the instructions analyze the data provided and become a helpful bot that optimizes posts on X. He then updates a bunch of these spreadsheet files that has his likes and tweets so the GPD can maybe steal a little bit here and there. And here is the result. He asked it, optimize this post and tell me when to post it. Here's a sneak peek of an AI's new GPD builder. I got early access made X optimizer GPT and we basically created all of it. But then optimizer is rating it an eight out of 10 and creates an even better one with the results mind-blowing. I love how we're now able to make a feedback loop where you can use data you already have to create better things in the future. Number nine, Nomad GPT. He's saying absolutely mind-blowing way to make custom AI. You just tell them what they're doing wrong and it updates itself. If you don't know, Nomad List is a website that gathers all the weather and the pricing and how good it is to live in a certain city as a digital nomad. And he just fed all that data into a GPT. So now instead you can just ask it and all that data connects directly into your chatbot. I can't wait to see more examples. Number 10, introducing AGI.zip, the world's first custom GPT agent. This allows you to automatically save long-term memory, reusable skills, tracks current tasks, and exports into any chat using SQL. So now it's analyzing. He's then created the SQL and here is a detailed plan moving forward. It has seven steps. And then he has these hot keys that he can use. So you can just write T for next step, expand with E, skills library, L. He writes meals for next day. And as you can see, it 
creates this task list instead of actually doing the way that ChatGPT would have done it. So it's acting more as an AGI. Now that it's coming to an end, he's saying, save a mac and cheese recipe to my memory. Also, save a note that I'm allergic to walnuts. As you can see, this is more likely how the future of AI will work. And I'm loving every single second of it. If you are too, subscribe to the channel for more updates. Click on this video now for more videos from me, and I'll see you in the next one.